Now to a developing story tonight. A serial bank robber is on the loose and wanted by the FBI. KXY4's Ariana Cohen working for you. And Ariana, this man accused of robbing two banks within just minutes of each other today? Yes, Nadine, and police do not know the man's name. They say the man is between 5'10 and 6'1 and between 50 to 60 years old. Police say at 11 this morning, this man robbed the Alaska Credit Union inside Safeway on mission. The man handed the bank employee a note indicating he had a weapon, never showing one. Then he ran away with an undisclosed amount of cash. While police were investigating this robbery, just minutes later, a second robbery happened at another Alaska Credit Union inside the Safeway on Wellesley. Police say that same man did the same thing. He handed the bank teller a note indicating there was a weapon and fled with an undisclosed amount of cash. On the FBI's website, the unknown serial bank robber is wanted for three more bank robberies in Salt Lake City, Utah from December. Check out this photo from the bank in Utah and this photo from the bank in Spokane. The two look strikingly similar. The man is wearing the same clothes and similar hat and glasses. The FBI held a press conference in Salt Lake City. The important thing is to know that he's it, he's been pretty brazen uh, he didn't try and hide his face didn't try and, and, and mask his uh, uh, description at all he is obviously considered armed and dangerous so anybody in the public that sees him as the chief said call the department call the FBI call 911 do not approach him. Do not try and attempt to apprehend him. The FBI release says the man handed the teller an empty grocery bag and note demanding money, this time showing his handgun tucked in his waistband. Uh, and so we're really looking for this uh, individual. Okay, and police did not want to comment. And Major Crimes is also investigating the incidents. If you know who this man is or any information at all, please ask that you call Crime Check at 456-2233. Reporting in the studio tonight, I'm Ariana Cohen, KXLY4 News. Thank you, Ariana.